Lucinda Gibson, the Empowerment Doc from MGAA Professional Development Institute, where we are growing and empowering future leaders now for extraordinary success. Now, what are we going to speak about today is trust. Trust works. Trust, building long-lasting relationship so that you are able to become an effective leader. Now, several years back, I read a book by uh, Ken Blanchard, and Ken Blanchard talked about the ABCs of trust. And uh, I'm going to summarize them and tell you them like I remember them as how he said it. A, you have to be an able, competent person. B, you have to be believable. C, you have to be connected. And four, is dependable. You have to be dependable. Now, when we talk about able, it's saying that you are to be able to trust an individual based on the competency that that individual displays. So... When you build your team, you have to establish the level of trust on the team based on the level of leadership or where they are within the organization. B, believable. Believable means that you have to be able to act with integrity. If I tell my employees or if I tell my leaders something in confidence, uh, they're going to be able to keep it confidential and be able to to be, you know, like a word, secretive about it. Be confident, be confidential, and, and not share what I tell them with others. Now, in a military situation or a corporate situation, if there's something that's going to shift the organization or downsize the organization, then there's usually what's called a process action team. The PAT team, they get together and they talk about who is going to be cut, who is going to be repositioned, who, how the organization is supposed to be restructured. That type of information is not supposed to be released to the general public or to the general populace within the organization until the CEO or the CGO say so. Three, leaders ought to be connected, connected to their people. Nobody cares how much you know unless you show how much you care. Show considerations for others in the organization where, you know, and their families, not just the individuals in the organization, but and their families. Now, you can't do it for everyone, but you could put policies and procedures in place that help uh, build morale and boost morale by having family day, fun days, uh, retreats. All these things show that a leader cares for their staff, cares for the organization and cares for the team. Remember, nobody really care how much you know until they know how much you care about it. Remember, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So we talk about A, being able, B, being believable, C, being connected, and now number four is dependable. Can your boss depend on you as a leader. Can your boss depend on you as a leader? A leader, Can you maintain credibility with your boss? If you say you're going to do something, take action and do it. Do what you say you're going to do. Deliver when you say you're going to deliver. Be on time. Be credible within the organization. So, the four things that will build you and build your effectiveness as a leader and the four knowledge, skills, and abilities, that's what I'm calling them. And it came from Kenneth Blanchard, the leadership guru, is A, be able, B, be believable, C, stay connected, and four, D, be dependable. I am Cedar Gibson, your Empowerment Doc from MGA Professional Institute. Have a great day. God bless you.